All right, welcome back in. We are going to do a little test today. Uh, well, I should say, I've I guess I've already done it. It's more of a show and tell. I'm going to still put this under tutorial because it does show you what you can get out of cooking. Uh, a lot of things have changed. There's been a lot of uh, patches, add-ons, new things to cook. Old things have changed in their value. It used to be at one point that the fat dust moth was the big daddy of food. That's actually not the case anymore. So I cooked everything, like literally everything you can see in these lines. I cooked it all, and we're going to start with flowers. This might actually surprise you. So I'm here at a greenhouse, right? Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, da -da -da. Sort of. There it is. You can see it. I'm at a greenhouse, and greenhouse gives you three... Of the better items, one of the best items. So, Patat is actually quite good when you cook it. 30 food. Now, yeah, okay, it's just food, but they're usually... I would say there's usually at least 5 to 8 Patat on every single regular greenhouse, not the, the uh, infected greenhouse. So, nice, great... This is what you, what, now, bear in mind, it's not really okay to eat anything raw anymore. It used to be you could mostly get away with it, but since they changed the way uh, infection and diseases and all that stuff work, it's just never a good idea to eat anything raw. So, cook everything, and yeah, 30 food, very nice. Ink bulb, uh, you wouldn't think much of ink bulb, uh, and it's alright. 20 health is actually quite fantastic if you do not have the health what are they called first aid kits if you don't have first aid kits that's a that's a pretty nice bonus at 20 health however don't cook ink bulbs don't ever cook ink bulbs you need ink bulbs for pretty much every single paint for your ship don't cook cook ink bulbs i'm just showing you what you can get out of it uh canola multi uh quite popular there's a whole lot of them and it gives terrible amounts 15 food it's awful but you know what? As many as there are usually on each of the these platforms, you might as well, if you want to, and you're just, man, I just don't have any food, cook them up, 15 food, not terrible. Bruise flour, uh, 10 energy, 5 health. Eh, situationally functional at that, I would just rather use them for paint. Same with Petita Start, or Aster, excuse me. Uh, just straight up 10 energy, eh. I, I don't really see the benefit in just doing something that's 10 energy. So now we get on to the proper like food categories and all the various things. There are still a few things in there that I don't know that I want to call food, but they're going to be in the like proper food. So the winner overall, the best food you can possibly eat is Luling Grass Cricket. Uh, don't eat it raw. This thing will give you, what is it, gastroenteritis, I think. Um... Oh no, I think this one's photophobia. Uh, but look at this. 50 food and 30 energy. That is amazing. Now, on the greenhouse, there's usually between one and three crickets. And if you're like me and you build... And I'm still building on this, still working on it. If you build on the greenhouse platform, every time you log back in... It, you know, you're still building, it takes you a couple of days or whatever. Uh, the crickets will be back. It doesn't respawn everything, but the crickets will be back every time, so you can go get some more. But yeah, 50 food and 30 energy is fantastic. Uh, second best is going to be Glowing Dust Moth. Glowing Dust Moth, the best way to get those. Once you get up to having the uh, um, automatic uh, line catcher, use the Unique Insect Lure. Now, you're going to get these in droves all over the place, as well as the real basic one. Real basic one's junk. I wouldn't use it other than when you start the game and you kind of have to use it. And I would never make the advanced insect lures. It, it just... It's it's a waste of mats to make this. You get enough of these just laying around, and making them is not that hard because it's the multi-doit um, plants and they're all over the place but this gives you 50 food straight up flat 50 food that is nice then we go to dust daisy now anytime you go into an underdust i'm referring to the original underdust not the um suburbs 
These things are everywhere. I mean, you can literally full, fill your entire bag with just dust daisies because there's so many of them. And they get 50 food. Dust daisies are amazing. Uh, I don't know when this changed. Uh, I don't remember them ever giving anything like that. But 50 food is fantastic. Yeah, it's just food. It doesn't give energy. But whew, as many dust daisies as there are down there, get yourself some food. Uh, the next thing that gives that is everywhere... These green colanders are all over both underdust uh, and the overgrown, or sorry, the the uh, greenhouse that I'm on right now. You can even find it in a few other places, but those are the main locations, and it gives 40 food. So now there's also a bug right now. Every time you chop one off, and this includes everything right now except for stuff like uh, critters. So any of the... Um, Plants you have to cut, which is the coffee nut. Uh, it includes the canola multidoit, this guy right here, and it includes the green colander. Um, you get two if you use the air cutter every time. There's no way that that's intended. So make use of it. Get yourself a bunch of these things. 40 food is fantastic. Let's move on to, now this one does not give as much food, but it's what else it gives that I think really pushes this up towards the top. It's your honey. So shoot the, the beehives, the hornet nests, whatever they're called, and 20 food, 30 energy. I oh, mean, 30 energy is nice. You don't think, okay, well, I'll just go to sleep. But when you sleep, if you look at my arrow to the left, you're draining your food and water. So I'd kind of rather... You know, take a little bit less food and get that 30 energy. That's nice. Uh, then we're going to go into Fat Dust Moth. 30 food. All right, so we're getting down a little bit in, in functionality, but still 30 food is not terrible. Uh, going down a little bit again. Oh, well, actually, sorry, same level. Uh, Crustpeed. Crustpeed, you're not going to find many of these. Um, they can be found mostly on the radio towers and in the suburb under dust. And they're definitely much fewer and far between uh, 30 food lobster pepper they're everywhere 20 food 20 energy once again you're getting food and energy I think that's very nice I almost think that should be better than the 30 food category but it is what it is uh, meteor bean meteor bean is actually pretty nice because of the 10 health the energy and the food but it's harder to find meteor bean so these are going to be in your underdust locations. And a lot of them are up high, so it's kind of hard to get to them. Uh, you can easily miss with the uh, crossbow. So we go to Coffee Nut. Coffee Nut, 25 energy, but only energy? I mean, that's all right. It'd be nice if anything that, like, maxes our energy, if it gave us, like, um, I don't know, maybe a... Uh, a couple of minutes or one minute even 60 seconds where our energy won't start dropping like like it over buffs us or something uh, dust moth just your standard old dust moth you will get this with the base level lure and that is 25 food not terrible uh, four of those get you back up to full health dust lettuce this is also something you get with the base lure uh, 15 food, 10 health 10 health is very nice especially early on because you're not going to have the first aid kits Sun melon. Now we're getting into kind of. I don't prioritize anything that has water, and the reason is water's everywhere. These things are all over the dang place. Getting this when you once you have a purifier, which is, well, I believe that's before you even leave the first platform. Water's everywhere. I don't give a, a hoots and hoot and tootin about having water in it. So ten food, five health. Five health is kind of nice. Uh, breath nut. This one was interesting. I would never cook breath nut personally because that 40 oxygen is better in my opinion. However, I wish they made breath nut that you could not contract a disease from it if you ate it raw because of that 40 oxygen. But unfortunately, you could still contract the diseases and it only gives 15 food because it makes overcooked meal. And so does rotten food. Rotten food, 15 food. Uh, don't eat it raw. You'll lose 15, <laughs> 15 health just to gain 5. But hey, man, 15 food, 30, 60, 90, there's 6. Uh, so 7 of them will, will heal you all the way up. Or uh, your food, I mean. We'll get you food all the way up. So worst case scenario, 15 food is not that bad. 
So that shows you. Oh, where is one last thing? Where do I have it? I have it over here somewhere. No. One last thing. 15 food from old food rations. You will get so many of these in the original Underdust. And then occasionally on like radio towers and stuff like that. Uh, you could come up with a couple stacks. Well, not a couple stacks from one Underdust. But you could end up with stacks and stacks of these if you go to enough Underdusts. Eh, 15 food. These used to be much better. But 15 food is still something. Alright guys, thanks for watching.